All right, here we go. Okay, let's get to the actual information about the game. First half, uh, Chiefs got out to a hot start and forced a fumble on the 49ers' very first drive. The 49ers put together a pretty good first drive. The defense held up when it mattered most pretty much all game in the red zone outside of the one trick play. Oh, yeah, on fire. Leo Chanel and Mike Pennell. Which Big I didn't pin. even know Mike was brought back to the Big team. Pin. Oh yeah. Dude, had a great game. Shout out to Mike. That's my guy, man. That's my guy right there, baby. Both of them did. Leo and, and Mike both outstanding, man. Pennell was activated from the practice squad just two days before the game and had multiple big plays today. But did he play against Buffalo too or, or in the last game? Like I know he's on practice squad, but he's played a bit in the playoffs. Is that right or no? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. I believe he was activated for one or two of them. Because you guys had uh, Naughty, Naughty was injured, so they clearly wanted another big guy to get out there. Mike having history with the team, and dude, he has played well for you guys uh, whenever he's been called. Every time, baby, back to back, baby. Yeah, how much? I mean, is it, how awesome is it when uh, two guys like Leo and Mike have such an impact in the game? I love it. They, I mean, God, Leo's been playing stellar for us all year, man. Just a guy that just loves football, baby. Death Row, as we call him on the team, man. He used to write Death <laughs> wow, Row on his arms. That's a good nickname. He used to write Death Row on his arms when he was at uh, Wisconsin. Him and the boys, uh, Death Row Records over there in Minnesota, or, uh, Wisconsin uh, linebacker crew. It means the most that uh, that these guys get highlighted. You know what I mean? Like you for see, sure. you see enough guys that are making plays in the back end when the ball's in the air. Or, you know, uh, on the offensive end, guys showing up big, but it's these, de- the defense played their tails off and it's the, the kind of the unsung heroes are, are the glue guys, the guys that just play their gaps and just make those tackles and rally to the ball like it's their, like their life depends on it, man. And, um, these, I mean, it's, there's a list that is just, you know, you can't count it. How many times these guys have come up big for us. And, uh, sure enough, man, no bigger than the, the, the biggest stage in the world to to show up and show out for uh, for Chiefs Kingdom, man. They, they both had great games. Of the I know. Fourth quarter. This might have been one of the best endings to a Super Bowl of all time. First three quarters, probably not one of the best ones to watch, if I'm being honest, especially the first half. I like them points up, and it was a defensive battle. Uh, but the end of the game was electric as hell. 49ers yeah. score a touchdown on the first drive of the fourth quarter, but the extra point which I did not see because at that point I was in the bathroom after they scored. I'm like, All right, I'm going to utilize this time I get away from the game is blocked by and Leo I'm not Chanel. Even lie. I didn't Leo Chanel. Who the throw, Dude, baby. <laughs> Death row records. Death rows everywhere, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I was making a joke at training camp. I was like, man, this dude's John Cena and can pads, dude. He just, <laughs> he looks, he's got the, he's got the John Cena and arms and legs and it's just hilarious, man. He flies around, man. One of the best all around football players. You can throw him on any special teams, anywhere, ask him to do anything on the defensive side of the ball and, um, he's going to be there for you. And sure enough, you put him on field goal block and he gets the biggest block of the season. When it happened, I didn't even realize how big of a block it was. I was like, oh, all right, they just took the lead. They're up a score. And in my head, I'm like, we, we got to score touchdowns either way. But then we don't score a touchdown. We kick a field goal, and it ties it up. And it's just like that block was the biggest play in the game. You know, it was like, man, that really catapulted us into, like, keeping the score in, like, manageable situations. So instead of us having to score a touchdown to to win the game, we were able to keep our composure, not have to like force it. And uh, once we knew we were in field goal range, kind of play a little bit more conservative, knowing that we had an overtime, uh, an extra period to be able to win this thing. That's right. Yep. Yeah. The extra point, definitely being up, being down only three is huge. Huge. It it completely shifts the mindset. My pick for the, uh, for the new height stamp of the week, none other than my other teammate, two chiefs taking their games to the next new heights chiefs linebacker leo chanel death row himself how about that how that's about right that? second year linebacker had his biggest game of his career during the biggest moment for the chiefs man um now has two super bowl victories in just two seasons in the league two for two that's a damn good start baby finished the game with six total tackles forced the christian mccafferty fumble on the first drive and then blocked the extra point attempt keeping it a three-point game and giving us a chance uh to take that thing into overtime man i mean these are all crucial plays in the game huge huge plays man taking this game to new heights two for two in the in the in the nfl man can't start any better than that baby and uh shout out to uh shout out to leo shout out to mccole Shout out to the two guards that we just named, man. Yeah. 
fun, one of the funnest teams I've ever been on, man. Shout out to the Chiefs. All right now. All righty.